What's going on YouTube? I'm Matt, this is Garage MC, and today I figured while we're waiting for the comments to tally up for the little Chinese quad build, which if you guys haven't checked that out yet, I'll throw a link somewhere here on the screen. If you're on a PC or a phone, you can just click on it, but check that video out. Put your comment in, put your whole two cents in, whatever you want to call it. It's going to be fun. It's, you know, you don't want to miss out on that. And it's not a huge channel yet, guys, so hopefully one day it is, but right now it's not. Unfortunately, but I am only two and a half three weeks into this. No big deal. I'm determined. We're gonna do this together All right guys, so here's the 400 as it sits I put the plastics on real quick so you guys can get a look at and see what it looks like what the graphics kit that I chose was obviously a new seat on it uh, Here it is first problem. I'm still having uh, I got to change the hub on the front wheel. The the studs for the lug nuts are uh, two of them are bent. So the Douglas wheels, like the other front one over here with the new tire on it, uh, won't go on. the The holes for where the studs go through are a lot smaller than on the OEM wheels. The OEM wheels use like a tapered lug nut. The Douglas wheels do not. So I guess you'd call them stud centric or something like that. Uh, the light bar and the headlights are hanging here. I'm in the middle of making a video for, uh, how to make a template and a bracket, but, uh, I did a video on wiring these up. And if you guys haven't seen that yet, I'll put a, a link to click on somewhere on the screen right about now. Uh, let's see what else is left. The Nerf bar on the left side of the quad, I still have to get... There's like a piece of the bolt stuck in the hole in the frame where the foot peg bolts too. I still got to drill that out and retap it and all that stuff. That's as far as the bolt will go in now. Uh, other things I still got to do to it are the part of the skid plates that I bought. The, this little like spacer that comes welded to the skid plate. It's too tall. I got to take it down some. I don't know if you guys can tell that the skid plate is like level with the frame here and then it starts to move away from the frame so i want to cut that down a little bit so it's all square all the way across the whole thing the rear skid plate i mean you know it was 120 dollars from ebay for the front and the rear skid plate so uh i gotta put some more spacers under there so it gets away from the rotor i don't like it that close to the the brake rotor and the chain uh let's see what else is left uh, I'm going to make a video of, I got a aftermarket grab bar, but as you guys probably know, the subframe on the 400EX, the grab bar is one part of it. So what I had done was I bought a Alba Racing grab bar. It's right there. I bought a used one because it's just going to be a project to see how it goes. And I have another subframe right up here. So I'm going to mount that to the quad so it's nice and square and I'll cut that part off and, you know, figure out how to mount that on there. So that's where the 400DX is at right now, guys. Um, if you're liking the content so far and you want to see more of it, throw me a thumbs up. And if you could, consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. I said I would do a garage tour video. I am going to put that in a separate video for you guys. I'll have that out to you by tomorrow. Like I said earlier, if you haven't seen the interactive build on the Chinese 110cc quad, go over there and check that video out. I'll put another link on the screen somewhere for you, and I'll put a link in the description. Your two cents does matter on that. It's going to be a lot of fun, guys, so build it with me. I don't want to make all the decisions by myself. There's already a few votes in it now, but throw your vote in there. It's just for fun, so it is what it is. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good day and thanks for watching.